Today I will be reviewing the Pine 64 single board computer with the Remix operating system. If you have seen my earlier videos, you know that I have bought the full package from the Kickstarter uh, project. Uh, that included this LCD screen, but the Remix does not work on the LCD screen, so I have gone back to my HDMI monitor. Uh, this is the Pine 64 board. This is the Wi-Fi Bluetooth. The operating system comes on a 64 gigabyte micro SD. Uh, mine came with the Android system. I purchased a, an additional micro SD and I have downloaded the Remix and I will show that at the end of the video. While this is loading, uh, I had a problem originally with this version doing an overscan on my monitor. Uh, I have seen that mentioned in several uh, posts and I will show you what I mean by overscan. You can see from the image the top, bottom, left and right of the screen goes off the screen. Um, I only found one fix for that and that would be to actually uh, go against the monitor. Uh, under my input select, I just changed HDMI AV to HDMI PC, and that brought all of the things along the bottom, along the sides, and along the other side uh, back into the screen. Now, I tried to do this on my very old uh, television, the HDMI on that device is too old for my cable. It is too old for this, but it is not too old for my Chromecast, which is working just fine. Now, Remix has a very limited display settings options. I got wallpaper, sleep, and auto rotate screen, which would not do me much good on an HDMI monitor. Um, there is no way to shrink the screen uh, from these options and there is no way to cast this image to my television automatically. Uh, to do that I downloaded a little app called uh, Wi-Fi Display and when I click on that it'll cast to my Google Cast. Um, if you have the Android download uh, those options are available, and let me show you uh, images of those. Aside from that uh, little delay in getting the monitor set up, this is an excellent operating system. Uh, it comes with these options down the side, and if you saw my previous videos. I loaded YouTube and Pandora just to keep them consistent. Um, of course we know what trash is. Uh, the Google Play Store is where you get your apps from. And you may notice that unlike the uh, Android version, this is more Windows-like. So you have a little exit button right there. The file manager also does not look uh, that much like the Android version, it looks much more like a Windows. The settings for the most part, except for the display, are about the same as uh, the Android. And again, uh, as I did in my previous video, uh, the Wi-Fi set up instantaneously, the Bluetooth was very easy. Uh, they took no time at all, basically just put in the password or connect a Bluetooth device and they work seamlessly. So uh, either the Android or the Remix OS are very uh, easy to configure. You have Google Chrome. And you can see these load up pretty quick. Again, I am as far away from my Wi-Fi as I possibly could get. So some of the internet stuff is a little slow, but the applications load pretty well. Uh, YouTube and Pandora. So I can load Pandora. 
my HDMI has sound. And the volume controls are located down here. One of the nice features with the Remix is you can have multiple screens and you can bounce back and forth between them and, and have multiple things working at the same time, which um, I believe is only available in the Remix, not in the Android, but that makes it much more Windows-like. Down here is the complete set of options that uh, comes with it, with the inclusion of the YouTube and the Pandora, which I added. Uh, we have a calculator, camera, Chrome, clock, contacts, downloads, the file manager, you see those on the screen. Uh, we have Google settings. Uh, music, I don't have any music, but you can, this will work as a music player. Um, this is some sort of file, RAR. I'm sure if you are an Android user, you're more familiar with that than I am. Uh, I've never used Android before this last couple of weeks, so I'm still getting uh, used to it. Uh, there is a complete set of word processor, um, memo, presentation, and spreadsheet applications. And they actually look pretty good. I went through each one of them and they have some nice features. Uh, enough to at least give you some simple spreadsheeting and documents uh, and a fairly nice presentation if that's what you are interested in doing. There's a sound recorder, although I don't have a microphone uh, available on this one, and a video player, for which I don't have any videos. I do not know what widgets are, so I'll have to figure that out at a later date. And over here are some more options. You have your note, uh, do not disturb, if you would like that. Uh, auto rotation, which doesn't do me any good on this screen. Uh, hide the taskbar, which I'd rather not and take a screenshot, which I think is an interesting option. Uh, down here I have a memory cleanup, the Bluetooth, the microphone, I mean the, the speed, the sound, volume, and then uh, what keyboard I'm using. So that is pretty much what Remix uh, looks like. Um, I find it to be as fast as the Android that I used previously, uh, so it works really quite well. Uh, if you're looking for a $15 computer to hang off of your existing HDMI monitor and uh, a mouse and keyboard you may have at home, uh, this would be an excellent choice. Let me show you how I downloaded these and created the um, SD card. I'll give you some quick instructions on that. All right, to create your own Pine64 SD card for your operating system, uh, simply just go to the pine64.com website. At the bottom, you will find the wiki. On the main page of the wiki, you will find um, these very simple steps, you download the operating system of your choice, uh, you download 7-Zip if you don't have it to your PC, to your Windows PC, uh, then you download Win32 Disk Imager to your Windows PC, and what you will do is unzip your file, and then just simply write it to your SD card. To find the image that you need, go back to the top of the main page. Go to Software Image Download, up here, Software Image Download. There are several images to choose from. I've done the uh, Android, the Android for the LCD, and the Ubuntu so far. 
remix is right here in the middle. You will choose a image that matches your SD card, 16, 32, 64, whatever you may have. Uh, just download that and then use the programs I mentioned before to write it to the card. If you have any more questions, leave me a note in the comments and I'll see if I can answer them for you. Thank you.